Hello and welcome to episode 89 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with yet another set of MLG replays. This is a Protoss vs Protoss featuring first, in the blue, Complexities Naniwa! And in the red, we have E. G. Huck! So, just a few things to talk about before I jump right into this game. The first up is, of course, scforum.eu. Get on it, check it out. It's a fantastic, small, tight-knit community. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough my lungs out. Uh, and we're very, we're still very, you know, welcoming to outsiders. We want to grow as a community. We want to be a big part of the UK and the EU scene of StarCraft 2. So please, and please come check us out. As well as that, I can't really give any specifics because there are none. Um, but I know I've mentioned Team Carnage before. I've been speaking to a couple of the guys from that. And there has the potential for exciting things to come in the future for the both of us. Uh, sometime in the next year. Really looking to expand uh, the UK scene. And try and do a lot more to get sponsorships, to get things moving. And uh, hopefully, uh, if things go according to plan... I'll be able to help them with that and, uh, you know, we'll be able to do something really exciting rather than just uh, sit and make YouTube videos four days a week. Which, of course, is the goal because I love StarCraft 2. But anyway, this is a Protoss vs Protoss, so it's quite possible we do not have a lot of time. Um, one more thing I have to talk about is Naniwa. Uh, this is from MLG, the last MLG. However, since then, Naniwa has been taking part in the Blizz Cup. Uh, if you haven't been watching, then there are spoilers here. He went out, but he did so in such a way that he ended up playing Nest T, where it didn't matter which one of them won. They were both out. And he, <laughs> being Naniwa, decided he was sick of that. And he just worker rushed. But not even micro worker rush. Like, grab your workers, A, click, let go of the keyboard. And he's now been kicked out of the January uh, GSL Code S. So, big mistake on his part. I don't want to get too much into it because, as I say, this is a Protoss vs Protoss and we might not have that long to talk about it. But essentially, I can see both sides of it. It was a pointless game and I can see him being frustrated. And on the same vein, GSL has advertisers, GomTV has sponsors that they need to please and so they have fans obviously that want to watch entertaining games so I can see both sides of it I can't really comment on whether on how it was handled because I don't know what went on backstage but I wanted to keep you all informed I know a lot of you uh, regular viewers aren't uh, big followers of the GSL I know you tend to watch the free stuff like me because let's face it if you was watching GSL why would you watch me they have tasteless and artosis who are far far superior to anything I can do but okay, we are going to get into this game. Now, Huck, obviously, knows exactly where Naniwar is. And right now, it looks like Naniwar does not know where Huck is leaving that scout very, very late. In fact, incredibly late. And we see just tons of gateways going down now. There's three gates there. So there's a four gate coming from Huck. And he's got a probe here, which I believe... Yep, there's the secret pylon. Stalker's coming in now already. Um, doing damage to this cellar. Uh, Huck now does follow up with a second, uh, with a first stalker, sorry, but a second stalker is out, and right now, two stalkers beat uh, a dead zealot and one stalker. But of course, what Naniwa does not know about is this secret pile on here. So once warp gate is done, there is going to be a lot of problems coming for Naniwa. Two stalkers now meeting up in the middle of the map and chasing Na uh, Naniwa's stalkers back. But of course, Naniwa with the advantage having four stalkers at home right now. Now, here is the big problem. Right now, he only has two gateways. Two are building, but they are going to be far, far later than this. And of course, they are about to transform into warp gates. When that is done, expect to see a ton of stuff coming in here. Oh, will they see? They find the pylon. They find both pylons. Oh, this could be good for Naniwa, but will he warp in too many units too soon? And in fact, it looks like he has. He's going to... Oh, this is so close now from Huck. Huck losing stalkers already. But if he can keep these pylons, he can always walk more units in. But he is losing units very, very fast there. Another stalker coming in now to help. 
Naniwal retreating somewhat, trying to get his gates finished. Is morphing them to warp gates as fast as possible, but Huck is now warping in more zealots. And of course, zealots and stalkers beat pure stalkers so long as your micro is better. And this is what it's down to, the micro battle between these two. Two of the best micro, the best controlled Protoss players in the world right now. Microing against one another, and right now, Huck has the slightest of advantages, but it is not by much. And as more warps in from Nanua, this is tense. This is so close now. We have four zealots versus four zealots, four stalk, five stalkers versus five stalkers. This is as close a battle as you can get. If we bring up the health bars, we see. Zealots going down, Stalker's taking some damage, but nice pullback there from Huck, keeps it alive longer, and Naniwa is in trouble. He is losing units faster than Huck is. Naniwa could well go down right here and right now. He just needs to hold out. The longer he holds this, the better position he's going to be in. But of course, if Huck can bust through, and it looks like he is, he's going to be able to take this out. More units warping in as we speak. Once they kill these last couple of zealots, these stalkers are going to have free reign, and he warps in more zealots to give him that tanking force. Does lose one stalker though. Huck's stalker goes down, but Huck is in a commanding lead now at 36 food to 28. Naniwa is looking like he is in trouble, and there's not a lot he can do. All his minerals have to be spent right now on units to defend. He can't make probes. He can't make buildings, he just has to defend. He has a sentry that he's not using right now. Of course, not enough for Guardian Shield. Guardian Shield could really have changed all this. Force Field's not going to matter quite so much right now. And another Stalker goes down. And Huck has the definite advantage now. Up by 10 supply. Up by a few Stalkers. Three Stalkers now, which is a huge difference. Now Naniwa does have that sentry, he needs to survive. Okay, he has Guardian Shield that he can use to keep his units alive longer. But Naniwa's lost a gateway, which is one less unit per cycle. So Huck's lead is going to extend even further. And there we go, Naniwa, GG's, there is no way back from that. Huck with a four gate, taking down Naniwa in the first game of this three game set. Or in this best of three anyway. Whew, like I said, Protoss vs Protoss, it don't last long. Okay, that's everything I have time for today. I really need to sleep because I have a banging headache. So I will be back tomorrow because tomorrow is Thursday with game two of Complexities Nanoir versus EG Huck. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all.